fortune and glory to you. Access grant. Cooperative global initiative that aims at healing our world. Can't you see I'm busy? Death and life have their determined appointment. What? R Shh. They have eyes and ears everywhere. Meet me outside the clinic. Turn left from the front and go down the stairs. I'll be waiting at the corner.
I'm relieved to know they sent a professional. That makes two of us. Right. Look, no offense, Mr. X, or whatever your name is, but I really don't have time for this. Well, there is still the matter of my payment. And what were you just saying about corruption? Uh, no. Oh, I assure you it is. Legal, right. Malik, I just got the autopsy report. No drugs or alcohol in Evelyn's system. And her estimated time of death doesn't fit Lee's story. She did die from a head wound, but not one that matches the evidence found at the scene. I knew it. It couldn't have been just an accident. There's more. Evelyn was pregnant. Malik? I'm here. I... We can't let him get away with this, Jensen. He's guilty. He has to be. Can you go to his apartment? And do... What? Get proof. Get something. I'm sending you the coordinates. Contact me again when you're there.
Malik, I'm inside Lee's apartment. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Damn. Okay, look. Lee isn't smart enough to properly cover his tracks, so look around. Maybe you can find something suspicious. Hey, Lee, baby. Can't wait to see you today. But I'm stuck at work. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you, baby. I promise. I'll meet you at the hive, okay? Just don't get the fun. The Hive? I should have guessed Lee would be there. It's pretty much a second home for him. Wait a minute, you heard that? Sorry, Jensen. I don't like invading your privacy like this, but it's important. Plus, this gives me an idea. When you're done looking around Lee's apartment, head to the Hive. Contact me when you're there. I'll keep looking. I'm sure there's more here. Malik, I think I got a probable murder weapon. A broken clock. The kicker is the hands line up roughly with Evelyn's TOD. Coincidence? That's a hell of a stretch. You really think? If Lee's as dumb as you say, maybe. We'd need lab tech analysis to confirm, but if there ever was a smoking gun, it fits. I'll stick around a bit. I'm sure there's still more to find. Malik, looks like Hong Sr. was upset with Hong Jr.'s behavior and threatened to cut off his inheritance if he didn't stop whoring around. Sounds like he considered Evelyn beneath the family name. And if he knew she was pregnant, I... I can't believe Lee would do something like that just for money. Speaking of money, the Hong family seems heavily invested in both Bell Tower and Lim. That could explain the cover-up and lack of a proper investigation. I'll make one last sweep to make sure I got everything. Malik, I found a baseball bat, but it looks clean. Almost like it's been washed recently. Maybe Lee washed Evelyn's blood off of it. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm not sure it could inflict the type of laceration she had. Okay, I think that's it. I'm heading to the hive now. I doubt we'll find anything else in here without calling in a forensics team. Sounds good.
到这儿来，帅哥。一只怪了。You look here. You make. Malik, I'm in the hive. What's your plan? Find Lee and talk to him. I want you to convince him you know exactly what he did to Evelyn and why. If you can make him panic, I'm willing to bet he'll spill his guts. Just make it look like blackmail. If he's willing to pay to keep you quiet, he's basically tying his own noose. I'll listen in and record everything. Got it. What you want, Chrome Boy? Is your name Lee Hong? Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What's it to you? I want to talk to you about Evelyn Carmichael. Ev, man, it's off. I already told all you knuckles all there is to say. Relax. I'm not with the police. I work private. And you could say I specialize in cases like yours. If you ain't police, then what the fuck you want? A simple proposition. I have proof that shows you murdered Evelyn. And I want you to pay me two and a half million credits to make that proof disappear. Two and a half? Bullshit. You ain't got shit on me, Narco. I ain't paying you shit. I strongly suggest you reconsider. And I strongly suggest you get the fuck out of my face. Because unless you got your proof right here, I ain't got shit to say to you. All right. Let's start with a police report. I know your story doesn't match up with the evidence at the scene of Evelyn's fall. Oh, yeah? And why's that? Because the police report itself was falsified. Why else would that be, if not to cover up a weak alibi? Man, you gotta be kidding me. That's some weak ass shit right there. Not only does the evidence not add up, but neither does your testimony. You lied about why Evelyn fell down the stairs in the first place. You said you'd both been drinking heavily prior to the accident, and the reason Evelyn fell was because she was drunk. We both know that isn't true. Man, that shit was in the papers. Now, if the evidence doesn't fit and your story was a lie, then how did Evelyn die on that night? Well, the answer is pretty simple, really. You killed her. But how? By hitting her in the head with that antique clock you keep so prominently displayed in your apartment. The lacerations on her head, the intracranial hemorrhaging, it's the perfect match. In my apartment? How the fuck do you know what's in my pot? And like any good crime of passion, you needed motivation. Something to fuel your violent outburst. What did Evelyn say or do to make you murder her? She told you she was pregnant, and you panicked. Faced with the prospect of losing your easy way of life, you struck out at her in anger. How? That's impossible. But now the final piece of the puzzle. Why was Evelyn's death never considered a murder investigation? Because your family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Shanghai, covered it up. But whose silence did they buy? Bell Tower. Your family's sizable investments in Bell Tower assured they would turn a blind eye to any of your run-ins with the law. No matter how serious. Fuck this shit, man! 
and, and fuck you! I can help you, Lee. But only for a price. Alright, fuck! I can't believe this shit! I'll pay you, man! I'll pay you, just... What do you need from me? Details. Let me hear your side of the story, and then we'll move on from there. I don't... I don't know! Evelyn, that stupid bitch! She was going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Evelyn wouldn't shut up about us, about the baby, so I hit her! I just wanted to make her shut her stupid mouth. But the dumb bitch started freaking out. So I hit her again and, until I... Until she finally stopped screaming. When I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. She was barely breathing, so I carried her to the stairs near my apartment and, and dropped her. I had to make sure it looked like an accident. I had no choice. She trapped me. She just wanted my money. I would have been ruined. I need to go. We'll be in contact again soon. Huh? What? What about the evidence? And the money? Where the fuck you going? Goodbye, Lee. Malik, please tell me you got a recording of all that. Oh my god, Jensen, I could kiss you right now. I can't believe you got him to confess so openly like that. To be honest, it was easier than I was expecting. You were definitely right about Lee. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, don't get too cocky just yet. Before I send our little friend's confession off to the local media and authorities, I want to get some Shanghai street justice first. There's a control panel linked to the hive I need you to hack. Uploading the coordinates now. Verifying the signal. Hello. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm in. Remote frequencies are clear, thank God. Uploading now. And... Meet me in front of the hive, Jensen. I have a little surprise for our friend Lee.
Jensen. Malik. Well, first take this. I was gonna use it myself, but after everything you've done, I think you deserve it more. So what are you gonna do now? I have a few loose ends to tie up, and I need to make sure this autopsy report finds its way into the right hands. The Hongs aren't gonna buy their way out of this one. Lee's confession is solid. With that and the evidence from the autopsy, there's no way he can avoid prosecution. Justice will be served. Oh, justice will be served, all right. You might want to stick around for a second. I've got one last little surprise for our friend Lee. Are you facing the hive? It's almost showtime. In three, two... Malik. Just watch. I don't... I don't know. Evelyn, that stupid bitch! She's going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Malik. Remind me never to piss you off. After everything you've done here for Evelyn, for me, you'd have to try pretty hard, mister. You got a favorite poison? Hey, how about that job? You found Jaya yet? You need to get back the money she owes us. What's it gonna take for you to leave Jaya alone for good? I don't understand. Didn't you get the money? I know about the Shylock scam you're running. Get her the augment she wants and then bleed her with monthly payments for the rest of her life. I wanna know what it's gonna take for you to leave her alone for good. A cyborg with a heart of gold, are we? Tell you what, Huaylo. You give me a year's worth of payments and she's free. You're too kind a man. A fine specimen of humanity. Here's your money. Don't make threats you can't enforce. But yes, she's off the hook. Here, take this practice kit. It's top notch, so have fun. Ugh. I don't... I don't know! Evelyn, that stupid bitch! She's going to ruin me. You see her, she's very tired. She's going to rest for a while.
他火热的气息会把你烧焦的，我的朋友。特价，特价，特价。Earth Seekosphere is in serious trouble, Eliza. And it's time that we as a species stepped up to make things better. Our best chance at doing this is to modify ocean temperatures through a combination of ion and geothermal. I know what you have in there. I don't know what you're talking about. I saw you with Ferret in your shirt the other day. You know pets are not allowed in hotel. That's not true! I tell Mr. Chell if you not get rid of it. You're a very mean lady. But it appears that I may have to retract an earlier statement. Millionaire Hugh Darrow has contacted me personally to deny allegations of involvement in secret United Nations meetings about the augmentation debate. Here's what the man had to say. My visit to Prague was related exclusively to the project which has consumed all of my attention. which has consumed all of my attention these days. You're referring to the Pinchay project, the cooperative global initiative that aids at healing our world. Earth's ecosphere is in serious trouble, Eliza. And it's time that we as a species stepped up to make things better. best chance of doing this is to modify ocean temperatures through a combination of iron seeding and geothermal management. Forgive me, Mr. Darrow, but many people believe that your are so So kind! When will we be able to see the truth for ourselves? As soon as the installation is complete. If you would like to hear more of my exclusive interview with Hugh Darrow, log on to www.pikesmith.com. 
This is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live from Picus. It doesn't happen often. Forget it, man. You're not my type. This isn't a booty call, Van Bruggen. This is about you and some friends of yours I met in Detroit. Detroit? Yeah, okay. I got it now. You had Seraph, right? You were there when I had to pull the plug. So you admit it. You were running a mole. The heck, man. Just the heck. Worst decision I ever made taking that gig. As you can obviously see. You attack my people, Windmill. You hope to walk away from this, you tell me what you know. Down, boy. I've got no allegiance to that backstabbing bitch who hired me. Especially after she painted a target on my back. The girl you want is Zhao Yunru, Tai Young Medical CEO. Tai Young Medical? They're Sarah's biggest competition. How do you think they got that way? Zhao doesn't like competition, see? So she uses hack attacks, blackmail, extortion, anything she can do to destabilize it. No offense, but Sarif was just the latest in a long line. You got any proof of this? There's a surveillance recording in the Tai Young Tower. I stashed it on the server in case I ever needed an insurance policy. Not a very smart place to hide it, seeing as you don't work there anymore. Things got hot before I could move it. And now, I got you to get it for me. Of course, you can't just walk into that place. You're gonna need an employee card encoded with your biometrics to use the TYM shuttle. Well, what do you know, Windmill? I've already got an employee card. Just needs the biometrics from my passport to work. So start encoding. There you go. All shiny and bioencoded, just like I promised. Where do I find this recording? On a surveillance server in the TYM tower. But that badge will only get you into the lower city factory via their employee shuttle. And how am I supposed to get up to the tower from down here? Never said it wouldn't require a little finesse. Look, the tricky part is getting through the pango. But you're a resourceful guy. I have faith in you. Right. And after I'm through the floof? You'll be in the upper city tower. The server you want is in the central security hub. The login and password are on this. Now, about my reward. Tie your medical man! They're here! Banner! I want that hack a day! You gotta help me, Jensen. They're gonna kill me! And that concerns me how? Oh, come on, man. I helped you out. At least give me a weapon so I could defend myself. Fine. Take this and get out of here. Oh, thanks, man. I won't forget this.
Stop right him! There. Bust him up! No more! No more! Malik, get Pritchard on the line. Tell him I need everything he's got on the Tai Young Medical Building. Schematics, blueprints, everything. 
That might take a while, Jensen. Yeah, well, he's got as long as it takes for me to find this Taeyang shuttle Van Bruggen talked about and ride it to their factory. Jensen out. Malik, any word from Pritchard yet? I'm right here, Jensen. Staring at a blueprint of the Tai Young Medical Building. Great. I need access to a security terminal in the upper city tower. You do realize there's an entire skyline between you and it, don't you? I know. The Pangu. Any idea how I get to it? I suggest you start by going up. Access granted. 